God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask you to put a blanket over this pulpit today, Father God. Yes. Father, you preach this message the way you want to preach. And I give you all the praise and all the glory for all the great works you do in our lives every, every day, Father. Yes. For, the, for the way you do us, Father God. We turn our backs on you sometimes, Father God. You don't hold that against us. You say, boy, here we are. You already are, Father God. Yes. Hallelujah. As we, as we go through our lives, Father God, I ask you for blessing and prayers to every one of us that can hear my voice today. Yes. And they can see me streamlined, and I think you give me praise, glory, and honor. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a, something free tonight, and, and, and uh, here it goes. You know, I, I, you know, I sit and watch people all the time. I'm a big people person. I, I watch a lot, watch people and everything else. And you know, we go to, we go to ball games, and anything's got a ball in it. Anything's got a ball in it. We're, we're, we're. Jumping up and down and praising God and I'm not praising God, but praising that silly ball. I did, used to do it. I still do it every once in a while, but not as much anymore. But when you fall in love with Jesus, that ball kind of slides, keeps sliding forwards, backwards, and backwards uh -huh. in your life. Uh -huh. Where now you now you're praising God. But yeah. see that ball, that ball cannot it cannot grieve your spirit, but but the, the Satan can grieve every spirit in you. And that this is free. You can say amen anytime you want to. Amen. This ain't even my message. But I'm pray I was sitting up here. And I believe the Lord had said, told me to say this to somebody in here today. Do not let be grieved for what, what is going to come in your way. Don't let somebody step in your path and show you to steal your glory from you. Don't let Satan steal your glory tonight. Right. Or any other night. Whenever it's going on in this, in this revival, this crusade... Do not let do not let somebody steal your glory. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. The glory still is. Yeah. Yeah. Today I'm gonna preach about I was gonna preach about this and that. And today I today I come up and I said yeah. I'm gonna preach about there's a lot of things I was gonna preach about. I had two messages laid out there. And God said, No. I want you to do them too. I want you to do this one. Wow. So here we go. If, if you guys, if you guys want to, now sometimes I'm gonna be prayer, prayer based in some of these these scriptures, but I'll give you them. Then you go back and always look at them, check me, make sure I'm telling you the truth. That's the reason I like to get the scriptures out, so you can always look at you look them up. And, and tonight I'm gonna teach about healing. All right. You know, the United States needs healed today. Uh -huh. Amen. We, we, we need healed bad. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The, what's, what's wrong with the United States? I don't care what side of the aisle you're coming from. But they, well, neither one of them says they're right or they're wrong. And you know, one side, if they just come together, the United States can be healed. Yes. Yes. And be set, you know, be set free of all unrighteousness. Yes. But, you know, but, we, but you know, it's a hard thing to say when you're wrong. It's hard. They, 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 they won't, people won't admit when they're wrong. And you know, it, and you know you're married and, and, and everybody pretty much in here is married to Jeff. And, and, but anyway, you know, it's hard to tell your wife that you did something wrong, but she was right and you was wrong. That's hard to do. I don't care who you are. Because men got a little bit of pride. But then I'm going to turn the table it's hard for a lady to tell their husband, ah, maybe you was right. See, that, that maybe you was right. See what I'm saying? Don't shout me down when I'm preaching good now. Come on, come on now. Come on. Now, you ladies, come on now. I, I know you can shout. I've heard you all shout. I've heard you can shout. You can shout good now. Don't sit back here and act like you're a little angel now. Come on now, lady. Come on now. I see grins, but I don't hear no shouting. He's shouting. That's just, we're going to get something good going in here. But you know, the thing about it is, it is right. It, 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 the, the United States could be healed in a matter of days. Yes. We could all be living together like we're supposed to, like God wants us to. Yeah. Amen. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we, we will not say wrong or right. Mm -hmm. But I'm not one of them people. Now, hear me out. I'm not one of them people. Eight and eight's nine when it's eight. I mean, eight and eight, 16 when everybody says it's nine. <laughs> I said it wrong. If 8 and 8 16 and somebody says it's 9 and we're all right. No, we're not. I had a discussion with somebody the other day. 
when you treat when you teach kids there's no wrong in the world then how are they going to know when they're doing wrong right. Right. how are we going to do it and that's the way preachers has got to kind of teach their, their, their flaw Amen. when you teach them right and they know and, and every, if I get up here and preach one message this crazy as a bed bug and Pastor Jim gets up here and preaches something even crazier than Brother Trent and he could really go to the deep end. But we all, but I, I, you hear people, and this is another free one, you hear people say, well, I can interpret the Bible a different way than you can. That's wrong. No truth in that. There's only one way. Only one way is right. There's only one way, and that's the only way right. If we can interpret that, we want to interpret it. Good. Yeah. The Second Chronicles 7.14 says, Stop your ways. God will heal them. And the land that will be healed by your prayers. You're by your prayers, our, our, we will be, this land will be healed. But I think in my time, this is how I feel. I feel in my heart that there wasn't enough Christians in the United States praying for the United States, praying for the people in the United States and the leaders of the United States. I believe God has said, I'm tired. I'm coming back. I'm just taking yes. wipe it off the earth. I think that's how it is. Go on down and read Psalm 6 2. Oh Lord, hear my cry. For I am weak. Yes. Heal my bones. Have mercy on me, O oh Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O oh Lord. Have mercy on us. Jeremiah 3 22. Return to you, backsliding children. I will heal you, your backsliding way. Behold, I am your Lord. That's what I'm saying about the United States. We've back said so much. Listen, I'm going to turn this way, and I'm going to look this way, but I've turned my back on you guys. That's what the United States has did God. Mm. Yes. They turned their back on him. Yes. Come on. No wonder we got the coronavirus. No wonder we got these other, other kind of diseases. No wonder God is not healing people that, I mean, he's healing everybody that wants to be healed that believes in him. I shouldn't say it like that. But no wonder he's not healed. He, those all, everybody said, you believe that God has given him all these diseases and all this stuff? I say, if he didn't, he should. <laughs> you know? How long would you take somebody sitting there cussing you out? How long would you sit there and take that? Uh -huh. How do you think God is feeling today? How long do you think that God's going to put up with us, the people, not us, the Christian people, non Christian people, how long do you think God is going to put up cussing him? Keep cussing him. Say he's not real. Hey, if you guys realize it, do you realize that they're bringing God in by bushel baskets? Yes. Do you know that? I, you know, I know I know one guy. I know I, I tell people today that them guys bring all them gods in there once. They're stubborn. Hey, they're going to go away. They can't heal you. Right. There's no way they can heal yeah. you. And they're not going to heal you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, return you backsliding way. Sometimes people backslide. Yeah. Sometimes we need to rededicate what we've lost. Think about it. Think about what God has got. What God is speaking to people today. What God is really hearing in His ears. And in his spirit, and in his heart, uh -huh. the United States has broke his heart. You got to realize that he's broke his Good. heart. Mm -hmm. Good preaching. Mm -hmm. How are we going to mend this prayer, uh -huh. fasting, Come on. and win more people over to God? Amen. Don't let another family member slip off and go to hell. Right. right. Stay yeah. on him. Pray about him. Throw his put these anointing cloths on him. Do what we can. Tracy and I asked six or seven people to come tonight. You know how I many come? Me and Tracy. Yeah. That's it. But you know, if you ask 500 people to come to church, you might get two, three, four. You're not, you're not going to get a one percenter. If you would, you would ask 100 and 10 or show up. <laughs> but you know, I can't worry about the ten. I can't worry about the, the six that didn't show up. i got to worry about the the, the people here today. All right. Amen. That's what I got to worry about. I, I can't worry about them, nothing else. I, I just got to worry about this. The ones that I can see, the ones that can hear me, 
Them's the ones I got to think about. Them's the ones yeah. I need to pray for. Them's the ones I, 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 that, that believes in God enough to come out here and sit out here. Right. Them's the ones. Yeah. 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 Them's the people. Right. Them's the people that put smiles on pastors' Good faces. Word. Them's the people that put, most important of all, them's the people put smile on God's face. Right. Right. They put word. a smile on God's yeah. face and never ends. Yeah. 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 It's just like when people gave their life to the Lord. Just like yesterday, last night, I mean, yeah, the angels in heaven were smiling. Yes. And that little Amen. girl gave her life to the yes. Lord that day. Amen. Amen. You know, and just like when people give their life to the Lord, the angels are shouting, yeah. shouting. That's yeah, more what I'm getting at you guys today. I'm getting yeah. to hang with him and shout. Oh, you know what God yeah. says? I'm going to have to give me some rocks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start throwing them, then you shout when they hit you. <laughs> You know, I might have to get a handful, start throwing handfuls at a time. I'll give me a little bucket after I get them little green buckets. Start slinging them. I'll get some shouting. It might be a hurting shout, but I'll get some shouting. Praise God, praise God. You know what? You show me in the Bible where it says don't have fun. Right. Nope. No, no so they can't show me that. Anyway, I better get back to my message. I've been doing it all. You backsliding children. Hallelujah. Sometimes we've got to do the works over again. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes we need a refreshing. Amen. You need a new feeling. Yes, sir. You ever, you ever feel like you need a new feeling? Yeah. You ever feel like you need a new feeling? You ever feel like you want the Holy Ghost to come and touch you? Mm. Feel you? Yeah. You're running low. Your candle's running low. Uh huh. Well, you, you need feel though. You ever see these candles when they're burning real, real low, mm -hmm. and then you want to burn high? You want to burn high. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want all these things. It's more joyful to laugh than to frown. Oh, yeah. Amen. You Amen. know, Amen. it's more joyful to come in the house of the Lord and worship and praise where people around you love God. Amen. Amen. I feel sorry for people that's around people, non-Christians every day. Mm. Right. Christian people getting beat up all over the world. Mm. Why Christian people are losing their life. Right. Yeah. Amen. That's where we got to be as Christian peoples of the United States. We got to be praying for the people all over this world. All right. Christian people. All, all right. And I'm going to put the Jewish people in there too. The Jewish yeah. people. Without yes. the Jewish people, we wouldn't have a Messiah. That's right. Amen. We got to think of that. Amen. You need to pray for both sides. Yes. You know. I'm going to tell you another thing right now. And I'm not trying to. People said, well, but sometimes. You scare us. You scare the way you preach. Because you preach kind of brimstone and fire. So they didn't know any better. I said, you know what I'm doing, don't you? And they said, well, I said, no. I'm trying to preach, it, preach the hell right out of them. Right. Yes. All right. Amen. That's what all I'm right. trying to do. I'm trying to preach the hell right out of them. That's right. That's all right. And that's what we're supposed to do. Hosea 6.1 says, Re return to me and I will heal you. Amen. He that spits you, he will bind you up. Return to me and he'll heal. Come back. Come, come back. Come back, he said. Come back. Yeah. Right. Come back. Hallelujah. Come back to me, Lord Jesus. Come on. I ain't going to say that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I was going to say something. Oh, he comes at the right time, don't he? <laughs> don't, he, don't he put a muffler over your mouth? Yeah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But you know that the psalmist David, he always says, Come to me, Lord. Come to me, God. Yes. Come to me. I made fools of myself. Come to me, Lord. But God loved David so much. He loved him so much All right. that he said, you're a good servant, David. Mm -hmm. But you know the worst thing that God told David, that David heard of him all the time he lived? You cannot build my house. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. He said, you can't build my house. Amen. There was a man after God's heart. Mm -hmm. He said, you can't build my house for me. He's a bloody guy. And that's what I'm saying to people today that's hearing me right now. Just walk with the Lord. Yes. 
so we can build a house together. All right. So we can raise a house together. Come with me. Let's build a house together. Amen. Turn our wicked ways. If there's any wicked in our hearts, turn them away. Yes. Uh -huh. Turn them back towards Him. Turn Him towards, towards His face. Psalms 4, 146, 8. The Lord gave me a sight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. I'm not blind no more. Come on. And I'm saying that right now. I'm not blind no more. Wonderful Jesus. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing right now. If you believe, if you believe, you Come can on, be healed. Right. I've got this past, i got this, this scripture for a per certain person. The Lord gave sight to me. Bring it on, Jesus. He brings Amen. sight. Let Amen. me explain yes. something to you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. God only did bring sight. Yes. He bring. He bring His Son to heaven, to earth. Yes. He bring His Son down here so we can have sight. That's right. Yeah. But you know, the thirty-nine stripes I gave to Jesus on Calvary that day. Uh huh. The thirty-nine stripes. A lot of preachers preach that it is because it, it and it is true. If the guy would have given him forty. They'd have to turn around and strike ten. That's right. Yes. But but do right. you also know there are thirty nine different kinds of diseases, category, category thirty nine different categories of diseases in the world today. Yeah. Huh. yeah yes. Ain't that kind Come of different? Ain't that, right. You know what? Yeah. Hmm. But I'm telling you right now, we can be healed. We can be set free. We can walk out of here. I believe in this tent, this tent crusade that we can be set free of anything. Anything that we believe yeah, can right. be set free, Amen. we can be set free. Yeah. Any Amen. healing to our bodies, I think Holy we can be come. set free. Yeah. All we've got to do is believe and thank, thank the Lord above that we got these things. Right. Thank the Holy yeah. Spirit's in here tonight. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying He's in here Amen. tonight. Amen. I said He's in here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to keep saying that. Get out hand. Yeah. 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 Somebody go out there and give me some rocks. <laughs> Think, I think we, we can be healed again. I think that people need to heal their, their, their body today. I think that I don't think I know you can be healed now in the name of Come Jesus on, Christ. Right. You've got to believe what we're believing in. You've got to believe. Expect a miracle. Amen. Expect Amen. that miracle. Amen. It's going to do. Yes. Expect a miracle. Expect. Thank you, Lord. I Amen. thank you, Lord, for that miracle. Yes. I yes. thank you, Lord, for the healing. Yes. I thank you for the Lord, the Lord that you that you healed cancer. I thank you, Lord, Chunk for up. healing blind and high. Yeah. I thank you, Lord, yeah. for healing Great. people who got stuff wrong in their bodies that they're not saying about. I thank you, Lord, for you. the yeah. gracious God you yeah. gave me. I thank you, Lord, for yes. the things you're doing every day in our life. Oh, I thank you, Lord, for yeah. everybody Lord, night, every night. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. 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 Yes. 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 I thank you, Lord, for the way they're going yes. on. Yes. Yes. I thank you, Lord, for your grace oh, and mercy filed upon me every day. I thank you, Lord, for the blinded eyes you have healed right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for the grace and the mercy that you give people that have a hard time to walk. I thank you, Lord, for the for the for the liver right, for the liver to be healed. Father God, I thank you for them. Yes. I thank you for our family to be saved and set free. Yes. And yes. Yes. I thank you, Lord, for the grace and mercy you give us every day, oh, God. Father. I thank you, Lord, for your great miracles. Thank you. Yes. Great Amen. miracles. We're expecting the Lord from you, the great right. miracles. Amen. I Amen. believe Amen. that in this crusade, yes. people's games going to happen. Things are yes. going to be yes. set for yes. right, yeah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. That's the way out of the way. Praise me, praise. Oh, if you can, if you can, if you can pray in a spiritual language, just start praying right now. So all these hills are going to come to Let's pray, Hallelujah! Oh, 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 thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Glory. Mm. Yeah, I say Hallelujah. unto thee, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Even now, tonight, I am in your midst. I am God Almighty. 
I am the I am. I am ever present to help in a time of trouble. I will heal. I will save. I will set free. Call upon me. Come unto me. Receive my love. Receive my forgiveness. Receive my healing. Receive. Receive. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you what, that'll make the Presbyterians out of street shout. Come on. <laughs> it'll make them shout. Hallelujah. It'll, it'll make a dead church shout. Yes. Glory to God. Hey, Amen. I'm telling you what. I Come on, man. That's good. I all filled there. All right. Brother, all right. Yes. I got filled up here myself. Yeah. Amen. Maybe I will preach at two hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Amen. 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 Okay. I'm going to tell you what. The, the guy that. The, Thank you again, Lord, man. He's been graceful to me tonight. Yes, he is. Mighty good God. He has. He's been graceful. He's kept my mouth shut. I don't know to run into it. I'm about ready to put these big twelves in. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Mark 5, 34. Uh -huh. God said your faith mm. has healed you. That's yeah. Right. Not my faith. Your faith. That's your faith. Right. Your faith. Believe God. Amen. Go in peace. Away from your suffering. Mm. Now, I'm going to tell you. I got to here and try to pop this. I told Tracy I'd get all excited. I might jump down from here. Ooh, uh, never, never, never. Oh, I might get down on all fours, but I'm going to jump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you all one more thing. It says. Get your mic. I can hear you. You guys can hear me. I better get back over here. Oh. Pastor Jane didn't want to have to pick me up. <laughs> You know, we don't have to suffer. No. Yeah, All right. if, you, if you hear what I said. He suffered for us. He suffered for us. Yes. Right. You yeah, know, he right. bared them 39 stripes in his back. Yes, he did. They tore the hide right off his back. Yes. They seen his liver and his kidneys, whatever else. They yeah. Seen. They tore the, and he had so, he was so strong. He, he buried, he buried that cross. He carried that cross away. Yes, he did. He carried it. He did that for you and me. Yes, he did. Amen. Amen. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have it. We wouldn't have no reason. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have no reason to shout. We wouldn't have no reason. And that's the reason a lot of people that that's got long faces, long dresses, and everything else. See me decking around the thing here. That's the reason they're sad. I think when the barn gets old, it needs a little paint every once in a while. You All know? right. Paint it, fix it up. Yeah, fix bit. it up, yeah. That's just free too. Tracy doing very good. <laughs> anyway, I'm about down to see you guys all sweat to death. But you know, suffering is no more. No. Do you believe that we don't have to suffer? Amen. Do you believe that that God says that we don't have to suffer no more? Amen. Amen. Never again. Never again. We have to have belief and faith. Mark 5, 34 said, God said your faith has healed you. Yes. Go in peace away from your suffering. Yes. yes. Go in peace away from your suffering. No more here. No more suffering. No more crying. No more dying. No more dying. You know, every, all the Christians around here know this verse real good. Now remember, I got four or five closings now. I did, so it might be four or five hours. You know? If you read the Bible quite a bit, you know this verse. Revelation 21 4. 21 4 says, God said, He will wipe away all my tears from my eyes. And there will be no more no more deaths, no, no more sorrow. Think about no more cry. There shall they be, there shall be any more pain. Oh, thank you, Lord. For the former things to pass away. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't right. paraphrase that. I read those scriptures. Thank you, Lord. But here he said, here he's what he said. No more pain. No more pain. No more sorrow. Hallelujah. And we'll all be cut up in heaven. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. What a day.
And it's going to be a glorious day, ain't it? Yes, sir. Wouldn't it be a better day if we had all of our friends and family would go with us? All right. Wouldn't it be a happy day when we go? You know what I tell people today? And I won't say I'm very much. But I tell people today, I want to sit beside Jesus. Yes. I want to sit right there and put my feet back and say, look who I'm sitting with. I'm sitting with the man. Yes. I'm sitting with him. And he's sitting with me. Amen. And you know what he did? He died and suffered for all of our sins. Yes, he did. So we could have an, an advocate to the Father. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. We can't do good enough. Amen. As he says in his own words, there's only one way. Only one way. I don't care about these other ways. There's only one way. That's to do him. Amen. The That's the only way. That's right. That's the only way. So as we leave tonight, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that it be twice this much tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. It'll and grow. I, and I, I pray. It'll grow. And, and anointing was on this stage tonight. Yeah, was good. Was good. Yeah, right. Lord. Yes. Amen. Anointing Amen. was good on this good stage. Word. Thank you, Lord. Good not word. Not me, not me. I mean, good word. Yes, Lord. Thank you. And you know, I, 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 lo I, I love to be, I love to be here. But I think, I don't think, I keep saying I think, but see, that's what gets you in trouble. I think, you think, we yes. all think, we all get in trouble because we think. If we just move our thanks out of the way and let him have our lead, let him lead, we'll be all right. All right. Yes. Everything will be fine. All right. I'm telling everybody right now in the name of Jesus Christ, if you need any healing in your bodies, need any healing in your if you've got a loved one need healing, we're going to pray with you. You don't have to tell us what it's over. And take one of them anointing cross, put it underneath your bed or underneath your, your whatever that you need, put it in your pocket. I gave one to a girl, and, and she, was, she was ate up with cancer. She was terminally ill with cancer. And her dad gave them back to me. He said, Bud, she prayed over this thing every day. But she said, Give this back to Bud. It worked. Hallelujah. Yes. It worked. Amen. No more cancer. No more. Amen. <laughs> no more cancer. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes, sometimes the, the Christian people got it backwards. The Jewish people I think it's got it right. The Jewish people cry when a baby's born and dance when they when a, when they go to, when they die. Death of a saint. I think we ought to start that. I went to I went to a funeral like that. Scared to death out of me first. I think, what the heck? I'm gonna keep standing back. I mean, do do some that. But anyway, so if anybody needs any prayer, anything in their life, or anybody you want prayed for, because we forgot to ask for that tonight. Anybody they need prayer? Anybody there's something going on in their life, something going on in a family member, something going on in this period. You need to come on up here. Sure. Get, come your, get, on get, up. Get, get, get your get your stuff down today. Get it done. You know what? Must both her eyes fixed. Uh, how many know God can heal? Yes. God is a healer. Oh, my nose she, she's got she's had a little cancer right there on her nose. We just had that report today. She wants to heal from that cancer and she wants her eyes to be opened. Oh, yes. Father, in the name heal of Jesus. Heal, my heal Lord. By your miracle working power. Heal Jan's eyes. Yes. Heal her eyes. Open her eyes, Lord. Show yourself mighty God. Show yourself mighty God. Jesus' name. Be healed. In the name of Jesus.
cancer in her body. She wants healed. She believes God will heal her body. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name that's above all names, we curse this cancer. We command this cancer to go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. We take authority over it in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Jesus' name. for his wife. His, his son, he's praying for him. He has got a terrible disease. And his wife has got COPD on oxygen 24-7. Her name is Linda. And we're praying for Linda and Matt. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, as Kim stands in for his loved ones, God, span the miles. Span the miles. God, and heal in his body. Heal Matt's body. We come against that disease in his body. In Jesus' name, heal in the body. Let that breath come into our lungs. Heal. Heal. Heal in Jesus' name. Touch this. Touch Kim too, Father. Touch Kim's body right now. And strengthen him, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes people stand in, it's called standing in by proxy. When they stand in by proxy, that means they're standing in by faith for somebody that's not here. But I tell you, God can span the miles. She's talking about, they tell her she needs surgery on her right knee, but she knows God can heal her. Amen. We're going to believe. This is Karen, by the way. Good singer. She's going to come back and sing for us soon. Amen. Lift up your hands, Karen. Jesus! Heal that knee, Father. Heal that knee, Father. Heal that knee, Jesus. Touch her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. By your stripes, we're healed. We're healed. We're healed. We're healed. We're healed. Yeah, right now. Take it. 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 Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,
We're all right. We'll be down there rejoicing. Oh. What you got to take me down, sis? <laughs> fell on my foot and tripped me. <laughs> Whoa! Come on now. All right. Well, how, how you doing inside? Is that better? Yes. You all better? Yes. You believe God doing something for you tonight? All right. All right. Two weeks ago, he kind of backslid him off his deliverance. Well, see, you see, brother, I didn't know that. But you see, there was a good thing because it brought conviction upon you. Yeah. When I, when I, and that's a good thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. Lift your hands, Eddie. Father oh, God, God, you're glad. God. Well, he confessed. He confessed his fault. Yes. He said, yeah. if you confess your faults one to another, that you may be healed. Yes. And he confessed. Heal him in Jesus' name. Yeah. Set him free of any addiction. Get in all the addictions. Nicotine. Alcohol. Any kind of drugs. Set him free in Jesus' name. Set him free in the name of Jesus. Yes. How many things we ought to obey God? Yeah, amen. Ellen, I see you shake your head. Come here, man. You told me to obey God, so I, I'm calling you right here for a minute. I'm going to pray for your mother. You stand in right here. We're going to pray for her mother. And your mother's name is again. Peggy. What is it, honey? Peggy. We're going to pray for Peggy, her mother. And she's got... Oh, she's in a car accident. Car accident. Where's she hurting at? Her neck. Uh, broke her neck and her ankle. Oh. Broke her neck and her ankle. Oh. Terrible accident. Jesus. And this is Ellen. Yes. Lift your hands, Ellen. Lift your hands to the Lord. Father, as Ellen stands in for her mama, yes. oh God, as she stands in faith for her mother, that's the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. Flow through Ellen, flow through Ellen, and touch her mama, touch her mama, heal her body, heal her neck, heal her body, and encourage Ellen to walk close to you every day. Just encourage her walk to you, my Father. Jesus, 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 let that ministry that she has in put inside her. Ministry come out yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You can call it right here, haven't you? Do you know what it is? Caring for others. What? Caring for others. others. That's part of it. There's something else that God's got for you. Mm, come on. The Spirit of God just began to reveal something to me that the compassion that you have for others, you, you just need to give it all to Jesus. And ask him about that ministry. That special, you have a special ministry, a special calling. I don't know yeah. exactly what it is. You have a special calling that God is going to use you in, stronger than you've ever been used before. Oh, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Right now, God. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's pray for the preacher. Let's yeah. pray for the preacher tonight. Folks, God, pray for me after Beth knocked me down. Yeah. <laughs> Father, bless my brother Bud tonight. Yes. Yes. Minister, Lord, do you know about his difficulty? Yes. Do you know what's going on in his body? Yes. You're the healer. Yes. You're the healer, Lord Jesus. Yes. God, set him yes. free in the name of Jesus. Yes. Deliver our brother. Yes. Deliver our brother, God. Yes. Let the doctors be amazed when they check him out. Let them be a surprise and amazed how good you are to our your, your sons and your daughters. Yes. Father, heal him and set him free in Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you, Father. A lot of people, a lot of people here that people didn't know um, I went to the doctor last week I went to the doctor last week and I got a knot on my prostate I went in last I went in Monday and he took off 12 biopsies off all of me and we're believing that amen that's that right yes, Lord. we're amen. believing that he on the name of Jesus that's right amen Whose report will you believe? Jesus. I will believe the report of the Lord. Yes. Yes. You know that? Yes. 
he was should be in, but we don't know well enough to go. Give me the blood of Jesus. Uh, power in the blood. Give me a little bit of power in the blood. There is power, power, one word in the blood. this offering myself tonight. Oh, I haven't been an usher for a while, but I've been an usher before. I've been a deeper. I, 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 the psalmist David said I, I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to sit in the tents of the wicked. And you don't want to be, I don't want to be the wicked. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what, we're excited. And you know where God guides, He provides, and He's guiding us to bless people. Yes. I believe everybody came out here tonight got something special from God. Yes, I believe that. Do you believe it? All of those people that you're taking those handkerchiefs to, those little, they're going to receive something from God. Yes. They're going to believe God with you. They're going to get healed. Yes, I believe that Ellen's mother got touched tonight yes. in Jesus' Amen. name. I believe Daddy got set free tonight. Right. No more, no more drugs. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Come on, come on. There's a blessed time that's coming, Sing it, coming soon. Sing it, brother. Well, it may be evening, morning, or at noon. The wedding of bride united with the room. We shall see the king when he comes. Well, we shall see the king. We shall see the king. We shall see the king when he comes. For he is timing and power will help us an hour. We shall see the king when he comes. Well, we shall see the king. Oh, we shall see the king. We shall see the king. Hey, man, we're going to sing. We shall see the king when he comes. His coming in power will help bless an hour. We shall see the king when he comes. Are you ready? Should the Savior come today? Would Jesus say, well done or go away? My home is for the pure, the vow can never stay. We shall see the king when he comes. Well, we shall see the king. We shall see the king. We shall see the king when he comes. Hallelujah. He's coming in power. We'll help the rest of the hour. We 
shall see the King reign How did she put in for you? Did she, oh, I'm checking. Did she put in for you, Trent? Did she put in for you? She did. Oh, I'm just checking. <laughs> well, glory. Will you say glory? Glory. Have you been blessed tonight? Amen. Yes. Well, I want to tell you, you come back tomorrow night and Saturday night and Sunday night and Sunday morning. Yes. I mean, God is going to show up big time. Amen. We're going to be out here at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. We'll have a church right here. This is what we got. I think we've got 20, what, 28 more days? 20, right, 20 more, eight, yeah, more days eight. to be out here. We're going to be here trusting the Lord. We're going to expect the thing to grow. Yes. Now, I'm happy for the folks we got here tonight. Yes. Amen. Did, did you know yes. everybody here was blessed? Amen. Everybody Amen. here was encouraged? I know I was. Amen. I feel like I got saved all over again. Man, <laughs> glory to God. Amen. Woo, come on, Black. <laughs> Brother Black, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we're excited about God. Tell somebody about the meeting. Yeah. Share, it, share it with somebody. Yeah. And, and, and try to bring a friend the next time you come. Pastor, yes, sir? I need to put up You all right? Tell them on that, on that the, uh, YouTube that if they got blessed, they be dedicated their life to the Lord, call you and let you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 on YouTube or on Facebook, if you receive something from the Lord and God did something yeah. great in your life, I know the camera's rolling right now. So if that happens and you receive something, call us. At uh, area code uh, 765 620 6026, and give us a call and we'll pray for you. If you need prayer, call us, let us know. We'll pray for you. God will heal you. I mean, there's no distance in prayer with God. I'm telling you, we can pray on this side of the world and God can bless on the other side of the world. Amen. Let's stand together tonight, everybody. 765 620 6026. Amen. Singers and workers tonight, all you singers that was up here and Trent playing and Brother Bud preaching, I thank you for all your ministry tonight. I thank you all of you folks for praying with us and continuing prayer about these meetings. Our, our heart's desire is to reach people for God. The Lord's coming back. He's coming back. And we want to reach as many souls for the Lord as we possibly can. Amen. Brother Trent will be preaching tomorrow night. Brother Trent, do you want to say a word and then dismiss us in prayer? Just glad to be in the house of the Lord, church. Amen. I feel Amen. God's presence moving in this place already. It's just the second night, and I've already felt God moving mightily. I just know that within these next 28 days, I just feel like God's going to do some great and mighty great things. Great things. Yeah. And we're going to be able to you, testify Lord. about it later on. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank Amen. you for tonight, God. We thank you for Brother Bud's message. God, I pray you let penetrate our hearts. Let us take it home, God. And the fight to our lives, Lord. Amen. God, just bring us back tomorrow yes. to this next appointed time, God, to get right back in yes. and continue in everything that you have for us, God. Yes. We give you praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 If this message has been a blessing to you and you would like to contribute to this ministry, feel free to contact us at 1-765-620-6026. We greatly appreciate anything the Lord would lay on your heart to give. We love you. Love you. God bless you.